Hello, my name is Alberto Frederick Bimana from 2 Ilang Ilang and I'm about to show you how to solve three solution program, three variable problems using an augmented matrix. Okay, these are the sample sample equations from our teacher Mama Naloto that I am about to show which are the answers to the variables. But first, in order to solve it using the augmented matrix, you must first change it into a matrix itself by arranging it by x, y, z and making this matrix by its corresponding variable. The matrix contains the elements 6, 3, negative 3, 6, 1, 4, 0, 0, 5 and the answers negative 18, negative 10 to 8 and negative 10. First, in order to solve it, we must use row equations and the first row equation we must do is R1 plus R3 divided by 5 is then equal to R3. We will divide the original 0, 0, 005 into 0, 0, 001 which corresponds it from negative 2 and from negative 10 to negative 2. Then to the next row equation we are gonna change the R1 by adding it by 3 times the R3. The original number here was negative 3. So 3 plus negative 3 equals 0. And negative 3, 3 times negative 2 equals negative 6 plus negative 18, the past number here, it becomes negative 24. The third row equation is R2 minus 4 R3 is equals to R2. The original R2 was 6, 1, 4. So, 6, 1, 4. 4 minus 4 equals to 0. And negative 2 plus negative 8 plus negative 28, which was the past number here, it becomes negative 20. So, all in all, we have 6, 3, 0, negative 24, 6, 1, 0, negative 20, 0, 0, 1, negative 2. In this, we can already know that z is equal to negative 2. On the fourth row location, r2 minus r1 is equal to r2. The original number here was 6 and here was 1. So, 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 and 1 minus 3 equals to negative 2 and the original number here was negative 20 so negative 20 minus negative 24 or it means negative 20 plus 24 equals 4 so far we still don't have the answer for let for the x then let Third to the last equation. We add R1 to 3 and a half of R2 and then put it into the R1. So from the original number 6 6 6 3 0 it becomes 6 0 0 then the original number was the original number here was tw negative 24 so negative 24 plus 6 is equals to negative 18 so we already got the this means 6x is equals to negative 18 negative 2x is equals to 4 and Z is close to negative 2. We, we only have to simplify it if we get the variables. So the last two row equations which we can put together since it doesn't matter the other equations. If we divide R1 by 6, which this originally was 6, so it becomes 1. So 1, 0, 0, negative 3. That means x equals to negative 3. 0, 1, 0, negative 2. That means y was negative 
y is negative 2, and from the path equation, z is close to negative 2. So, all in all, we get this. x equals to negative 3, y equals to negative 2, z is close to negative 2. And that is all I have to say. To you. I love math. Okay.